Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm. We are in Andalusia in Spain. Hot Mediterranean climate in summer. Here we have trees, the oak family, Quercus. We have the holm oak, the cork oak, and they do well in this long, hot, dry summer. Right in front of me, in the middle of the picture, is a eucalyptus. Uh, there are not many here, but 10 kilometers from here is a whole forest of them that was planted by Franco during his reign to force the people to make sure that the country is self-sufficient in paper. These, this eucalyptus is also adapted, well adapted to this climate. Here, this is the blocks for our project on the crossover in the creek. Here the trees are part of this rhythm of this Mediterranean climate. Dormancy in winter and dormancy in summer. In summer the leaves thicken, the stomata close, and the activity is mainly underground. The leaves are kept as it is and uh, the growth takes place underground. Now we have introduced many plants here, maybe more than a hundred species few thousand fruit trees. We lost a lot of them during the drought we had two years ago and also because uh, many of them were not suitable. Peaches doing well, apples not, pears not, C citrus <laughs> in winter they do well, in summer not. This is Madronio, the strawberry tree. Okay, the interesting, annoying thing for me is I never know what I have that is alive on these berms. What am I saying? Many of these plants in winter have no leaves and they are obviously dormant. And then many of these trees, plants, in summer are dormant. In winter they are thriving. So I don't know. Maybe in spring I have a chance to see what I have. I have never really paid attention to it. So I don't know. Many of these trees, they just hang in there. And uh, it's a shame, I would love them to grow, but they keep telling me, listen, forget it. Look at this guava. Um, I have a similar one in a different place and it grows very well. So this tree, this is a berry tree. Uh, I've forgotten the name, it's, it's a tree actually. And uh, it went into complete dormancy, almost looks like it's dead, and now it's starting again. Welcome back. Good morning. Get out of your sleep. But it's, uh, it's tricky. I mean, uh, it loses its rhythm, it loses its growth. I don't know. 
I can go through the whole farm and identify a lot of things that start growing again right now. And uh, it is, yeah, two seasons of dormancy. The second one, the summer one, is more um, forced upon the trees, where winter is a natural, natural rhythm of life. Let's have a look. I'm here in the garden. This is the grapefruit, pomelo. Beautiful fruits. And this was damaged by the sun, the heat wave. And now it's growing again. Getting out of the dormancy. Look what a lot of leaves that are unhappy but i think this is new growth this mango i i don't know now the surprise for me is this white guava it is full of fruit It has some shade here from this uh, black bamboo and the polofnia and the oak. I hope it's doing well. It's obviously growing. It doesn't look like it got stunted. But the other uh, guava we have just seen is not happy at all. Here is the persimmon, looks a little bit fragile, scruffy, it has fruit. And uh, it, will it grow again? I don't know, I don't think so. Until next year, will it ripen its fruit? I really hope so. Same with the pomegranate, a uh, few fruit, where is this large one I saw, I don't know. So uh, look at these leaves after the heat wave, does it grow again, ah, here is a fruit. It doesn't look like maybe it will still do it. This is the tricky thing. Fortunately, the peaches look like they ripen their fruit before our 14 days of 40 degrees Celsius. This mulberry. Uh, yes, no, this one no, this one yes, this is in the shade of itself. This is the gooseberry, suddenly it's coming alive, this is stevia, uh, not so happy. Then asparagus, always happy. The Jerusalem artichoke, very happy. But the nut squash, very happy. All along this fence, we have planted some lanterna, 
lanterns hopefully they will form some protection wind protection this uh, bamboo doing a great job maybe I should invest in more of them this is the hackberry or meth very well adapted it folds its leaves when it's hot or dry and as soon as it's cooler or towards sunset it just opens the leaf very well adapted the sweet potatoes loving it is it you that eat all these upright plastic thingies our emitters <laughs> now to me a big surprise is this Chinese uh, plum look at it growing wild I love it one of the few exotic successes we have this cactus I haven't received any water for five months complaining others look better let me end with this the view of the eucalyptus again I think they get a bad rap they should see a lawyer and take their case to some court every time you wipe your hands blow your nose clean your ass pay buy write read you use part of this plant till next time Goodbye.